Good morning, Atlantic Coast High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Please be seated. It's Friday, February 18th, and welcome to the Morning Rays. As you probably already heard from Miss Menard, we are on the cusp of a three-day weekend. There is no school this coming Monday because it's President's Day. When we return to school on Tuesday the 22nd, the Chess Club will have its next meeting after school that day. It will be in room 512, and everyone is welcome to attend. A reminder that the Powder Puff Interest Meeting is also on Tuesday the 22nd after school in the cafeteria. This is open to juniors and seniors. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes has its next huddle today after school in room 304. Come by for free pizza and drinks. Bring a friend, too. Everyone's welcome. The GSA wants to know, do you have shoes that you just don't wear anymore? If they're still in good condition, then why not make some more room at your house by donating your gently worn shoes to help support local community closets? Between now and March 14th, you can drop off donated shoes in the main office or room 505 before or after school. Next week is a big week for the Atlantic Coast Dance Team. As you can see, there are mandatory clinics scheduled for next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, followed by tryouts on Friday, February 25th. A completed and signed sports physical form must be uploaded to athleticclearance.com before the clinics begin. See Ms. Ellison in room 337 if you have any questions about the dance team. Today's Black History Month figure of the day is Chadwick Boseman. He's most known for playing the role of Black Panther, the first black live action star in MCU history. He also portrayed Jackie Robinson in the movie called 42. Boseman died about a year and a half ago, but his legacy will live on forever in his films. And finally, during each Friday in February, we are recognizing Career and Technical Education Month in Florida. It's time to highlight another one of the CTE programs we offer at AC. Check out this gaming lab, which is currently in the middle of a transformation. When it's finished, it will be a state-of-the-art facility. This is where you can take gaming classes, which we will learn more about now. Hey gamers, do you play when you're supposed to be working in class? Did you know that there's suppo actually supposed to play games? Okay. Let's learn more about the Gaming Foundation's gaming, game design and game programming. We first off start off learning about some, um, just some basics about game design. And then we start playing around with animations and coding and making simple games or emulating games. And then moving on as the courses get higher to building our own more complex games. Perhaps the best part about these gaming classes is that there are three of them. Those who, be, who complete the course progression will have a chance to become game developing experts. Right now we don't have very many people in the upper tier class. We have a lot in game foundations and design and so we're just kind of moving up. But um, everybody seems to have a lot, of, a lot of fun. We have a lot of autonomy, a lot of freedom to be able to kind of spend your time making your game the way you want it to be. Those who are unable to get into one of these classes, there are still a chance to get involved after school. And we also have the um, gaming club, which is recreational gaming right now, and we'll ho hopefully be adding uh, esports and Rocket League soon, and maybe some others eventually. If you're new to the gaming classes, then be sure to start with Gaming Foundations on your course request form. Reporting for Morning News, I'm Mikhail Benson. Those are all the announcements for today. Have a great day, and go Stingrays!